stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I am doing the unboxing and reveal of the perennial birthday project kit from the 2018 Stampin' Up! Occasions mini catalog. So I've already taken it out of the box and I also already took the saran wrap off of it because after all that's just, you know, getting in the way of this absolute beauty. Look at this gorgeous little box with that cute little like I don't know, it's got like a little elastic tie right here. And then it opens up with all the goodies on the inside. So you can see on the back, it's also the same where it's got the print sort of on the top, but then the bottom, um, you know, is a little bit more solid. It's quite wide, as you can see, like my hand is, you know, it, it's quite big. It's almost like a little recipe box, but for you to be able to put your cards in to keep them organized. So let's open this up. Take out the cardboard. Oh, there's goodies inside the cardboard. Okay, so take out the cardboard. It looks like there is some gold satin ribbon. So that's absolutely gorgeous. And the fact that it's not on like a piece of cardboard or a spool uh, means that it's nice and pliable so that you don't have those creases in it. There's also some uh, dapper denim baker's twine here and a silica gel packet. I do have a super cool way to use silica gel um, in your shaker cards, so I'll try to remember to leave a link down below for that. And then there's this little contraption, and look at those pink polka dots on the inside. Aren't those super, super cute? Love it. That little box is just absolutely adorable. Okay, so this is a giant stack of goodies here. Like, look at all of this. All of the cards look like they're already um, folded in half, so that's super fabulous and makes assembling even faster. Okay, so here we have, let's see, I think these are all the envelopes. So here are all of the envelopes. I think this um, package makes 16 cards, so um, there are 16 envelopes there. There's four each of four designs. And then here is one design. Look at that fabulous dapper denim with the gold foil. Adorable. Of course, it's white on the inside so that you can write inside of it. So that is one of the card designs. The second card design has this gorgeous floral pattern. And look at that um, that like little gold center. It's like a little seal. It's so, so cute. And at first I was like, oh, I love flowers. And then I was like, oh, I love bling too. So super, super cute. The next set of four has like a, um, a watercolor wash over it. Like see how it's like darker over here and then kind of lighter over here. So it has that little, um, you know, like watercolor look to it. And the last four are the flirty flamingo and then they have that gorgeous little stripe to it. So super, super cute. Next we have some decorated balloons that also have gold foil. I'm loving that gold foil, it's just so gorgeous. So polka dots, a little stripe across, and then of course on the bottom, and those just pop right out. Here are, um, here's, these are actually stickers. So there's all of the months, and then the little, like I think this is supposed to be a tassel, and the months are for all of your little like recipe is what it looks like recipe cards um, so that you can do each of the months so it says one two three four five six so if you didn't want to um, to actually put the dates on there then you could always do it differently the other super 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 amazing thing about this is look at that okay so January has 31 days in it so of course if someone's birthday is in January <clears throat> my mom's hers is the 15th so I would put on the 15th I would put my fabulous mother and her name there because it's always on the 15th. So the awesome thing about birthday calendars like this is her birthday is always on the 15th no matter what day of year it is every year. So rather than moving it from calendar to calendar because of course, you know, one year it's on a Wednesday, the next year it's on a Tuesday. This way it's always on the 15th so you always have that together. So all of these have that on there. You can then make the cards and you know that you can look at this. You need five cards and five birthday cards for anniversary. You stick them in that little slot and there you go. How awesome is that? Super, super fun. Great way to stay organized too. 
Here is another set of the labels for all of the months, as well as some little dots here at the end. I am not sure what those are for, so I'll have to read the instructions on that for sure. Here are some fabulous little floral labels with some gold foil. I don't think I'll be stamping on these, so I can go ahead and punch them out. The ones that I stamp on, I don't like to punch out because it's always easier to stamp on the larger um, like piece than it is to stamp on the small little punched out piece. But there's um, those labels, and they also have that gold foil in the center, so there's four of those. And then these are just labels, like white labels. I don't know how well you can see it. There's like a little tag topper on the top, and then they're just like rounded rectangles. Um, but they are white, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to stamp on those. So I'm not going to punch those out just yet. Here are some Dapper Denim banner labels. And these are gold banner labels. And then here are... These are super cute because they have a stitched edge. So they actually have, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, a stitched edge around it like our stitch shapes do, which I super, super love for that little bit of extra texture. And then that gorgeous flower. And then I'm guessing you could probably put a greeting down there on the bottom. Um, so I'm not going to punch those out, but there's four of those. And then this looks really uh, fun. I can't wait to see what we do with this. So these are all little like white pieces that um, it looks like we will punch out the um, every other one, which I would bet to say that you could layer all of them together and punch them all out at the same time rather than each individual one. So it'll go a little bit faster um, to just layer them all together and then push all of the goodies through. Another way to sort of loosen up the pieces is to sort of like, yep, just like that, just kind of wiggle it a little bit and then the pieces just sort of fly right off. So um, that definitely helps to pop out all the pieces for that. And that goes with um, this striped one right here. So super cute. I also love that there's like the um, the striped one with the balloons and the old olive is a little bit more masculine, whereas the floral ones are a little bit more feminine. So there's a little bit of something in there for everyone. I love that. Um, because while I do love flowers and everything, I struggle with man cards, and I need those. And with this being a nice little all-in-one kit, that is super perfect. So this one is not actually an all-inclusive kit. There are a few other supplies that you will need. You will need the perennial birthday stamp set, which is this one right here. So it's got some great greetings as well as some images that you can stamp around or stamp on your envelopes to coordinate. And then you will also need... Old Olive ink pad, Flirty Flamingo ink pad, and Dapper Denim ink pad. So you'll need those to do your stamping. And then, of course, the instructions also say that you'll need some mini glue dots um, as your adhesive. So you can use that, or I'm sure you could use any adhesive of your choice, um, but they did mention this in, um, in the little description. So um, you can always use those, or you can use um, one of your favorite adhesives. So I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing and reveal of the Perennial Birthday Project Kit and all the goodies inside of it. Let me tell you, everyone needs one of these birthday calendars. They're just so super fabulous. Um, and they're so easy to use. I've been using the same one for like probably 10 or more years and it definitely keeps me on track all the time. And of course, don't forget that gorgeous box. Super cute. When I finish creating this, I'll be posting it on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check that out there, as well as other projects from the Occasions mini catalog that starts on January 3rd. If you have any questions on anything, just leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.